Great here. Welcome back to Factorio. Okay, as promised, my 10th engine is down and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in these engines with these power lines. Oh, there we go. Let's get this out there. Okay. And then what I can do is I'm going to have to get the coal down here to my boilers. Now, there's two types of inserters I can use. The first one is the burner inserter, which will fuel itself out of any fuel that I get uh, down to that area, and then it will insert fuel into the boilers themselves. The other kind is the well, just the inserter, the, the basic inserter. This takes power to run. And you can see there's a catch-22 there. If this, this needs power to run, and there's no power, how am I going to get the boilers up and running? Now what I can do is I can start the system with uh, by put, uh, starting it up manually, and then rely on the inserters to run from there. However, I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want to make too many um, burner inserters, since I have 14 engines, what I'm going to do is my first four engines, I'm going to put burner inserters on. That way, if I have a power problem, those four will still operate perfectly fine. Um, then the rest of the, uh, the, the other inserters, I will use the more efficient normal inserters. And I actually want to go on the north side. Yeah. Okay. So, if I'm running into power problems, the, it's not like uh, if I'm running under power, everything shuts down. That's, that's not how it works. Everything slows down. So having four boilers worth of power will still mean that the, the burner inserters, uh, or not the burner inserters, the normal inserters will still run, but they will run much slower than if they were at full power. Just making a fuel run, a fuel stop here, keeping that copper coming in. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to start generating tons and tons and tons of transport belts. And I'm actually not going to create all of the other inserters just yet, because I need the transport belt to get down here. But what that will let me do... The, these four will be enough for my system for the very beginning. At least until I can I can uh, get more... Uh, not more, but better mining up and running. Actually, what I'm going to do, since I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to have a ton of these anyway. I'm going to take this burner inserter, or burner miner. I'm going to move it over here. Because right now, I got enough stone stored up. And in fact, I'm going to do the same thing with the copper. I've got enough copper for the time being. I really need to get this, this iron cranking out, and I don't want to make any more burner miners. So... I still want to keep these going because I need the fuel. But at least this now will definitely dramatically increase my production of iron. And every time that I create uh, one transport belt, I actually get two belt out of it. So let's start running the belt from... Well, basically, it's going to be backwards. It's going to start here and end up over at the coal. Okay. I wonder if I should just route it south of the iron. Actually, that is... Mm, no, I'm still going to route it up, up and to the side. Oh, 
Let me get through here. And in fact, I'm just going to pick up this as well. There we go. Now the one thing I did down here is if you click on the middle mouse button, you'll actually lock these slots in place. So only small electric poles can go into this slot here. See? And I'm going to do the same thing over here with the transport belt because I definitely want... I'm going to be putting down a ton of transport belts, so I might as well just lock it in place where I know it's always, you know, where it's going to be. Okay, put a bend in there. There we go. Like I said, it gets faster. get through here. There we go. Okay. Actually, what I can do is open up my inventory and I can control click on each of these and it will dump coal in there. Okay. Control left click pulls out whatever's in that inventory. Okay, there we go. So close. In fact, I've got enough coal to drop those down. I need another... Oh, I need iron. Okay. No, I don't. I need two more of these. There we go. And where's my coal? I just need more and more and more iron. Transport belt galore. Almost there. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break th these down again. Get these minor burner miners here. Oops. Here and here. Now, obviously, I'm going to need to fuel these up manually again. But now you can see they're mining coal, and it goes onto the belt. Now, if there's anything on the ground that you want to pick up, if you press F, you suck it up. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, so the coal is now going to come around down here to the burner inserters here, which are going to fuel themselves first, and then they're going to uh, fuel these boilers, which will heat up the water that's coming in and fire up these engines. And all of this creates pollution, but the good, uh, good news is that the pollution that it creates... Um, is limited because it will only run up to however much power is actually needed. So my next step is I'm going to get one laboratory up and running and 10 science packs. And that will start our research. Then I'll worry about getting this these power lines up to the coal and the iron and the copper 
and we'll start our very first automatic mining and smelting. See how it first one it went into itself, then it's putting into the boiler. And now the boiler is going to heat up the water. And once the boiler is, is high enough, the next one in line gets its coal. And that boiler kicks on. And now the water is up to 100. And there it goes. Okay, let's get this laboratory down just right here. And we're, uh, I'm still building science packs. So the first thing that I want to build is actually, uh, let's see, automation. What this gives me access to is long-handed inserters. Normal inserters take from one square in front of them to and place to one square behind them. Uh, long-handed inserters change that to two squares in front of them to two squares behind them. The second is the assembly machine. What this does is it allows me to automatically craft things that only have two items in their recipe. So an assembling machine requires electric, uh, electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. I wouldn't be able to automatically create an assembling machine. But for example, uh, do, 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 where is it here? The transport belts only take one iron plate and one iron gear wheel. That is two. I can actually start automatically generating those. So let's get automation started. And let's get the reach research going. And now the power is being used, which means that the the, the water temperature in the boilers is going to go down. They're using power, generating pollution, and there you go. So let's actually get the power over here. These only go so far. So there and there and here eventually for reasons. Okay. And in fact, let's get the, the next uh, 10 inserters for the rest of the boilers while we're thinking about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run power along my track. Oh, let's stop moving there. This way I, I kind of know that it's, it's somewhat clear. Oh, so close. Well, we'll go here and then there. Okay, so now I've got power running all the way up here. And I should have enough. Yes, I do. So let's put down... Okay, our first research is done. Next up is going to be optics, which is uh, basically gives us lights. That way it's not going to be as dark. And of course, I need to make the science packs for that. Let's get those inserters down here. And what will happen with the miners is the, the coal is going to build up down here. There's going to be a nice stock of coal. Then what will happen is once they are uh, once the, the track fills up and it'll back up all the way back to the miners and at that point it'll be backlogged and the miners will just stop. So there's a lot of efficiency whenever you uh, you get a backlog of things. You only use the power that you absolutely need. So let's head up here. Almost done with all these burner inserters. Or burner miners, I should say. So let's drop this and this. I now have these two, which I can place here. Notice the the uh, colored area around it. That's the area that it's going to mine. So I actually don't want to put it here because I'm, I'm leaving out some uh, 
some coal that I could be retrieving. So I'm going to put the this miner here and that miner there and then a track in the middle and now they're going to dump all of the coal onto the track. These actually mine uh, a larger area. They also mine faster than the burner miners. I'm going to want to do the same thing with my iron. Just not yet. And now my commemorative wood chest. Let's get this down here. Goes right here. And yeah, I just wanted one of that out of. Oh no, 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 no. Burner miners go there. Okay. Let us make some inserters. And a whole bunch of transport belts. And let's lock the inserters in place on number two. <laughs> he said number two. Okay. So now what I'm going to want to do is I am going to want to actually route my iron over to this this area over here. And I'm going to want... Uh, let's make it... 4, 5, uh, 6, 8. I'm going to want 8 stone furnaces. I need this. Actually, let's let's tap from the bottom up. Here's our second research done with optics, so I can now make lights to make life better. Okay, electrics give us filter inserters, which I'm not worried about. Logistics, I need. This gives us faster inserters. They are, they're quicker. Uh, they use more power, but, well, they're quicker. Underground belt. So normally you can't cross two belts. They'll actually, whatever's on one belt will, will interfere with the, the next belt. This allows you to run uh, one belt underground under another one. And splitters, which is important. Uh, this takes a, a belt and splits it into two belts. So let's get that going. And that is going to require 20 of those. And in the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my smelting area up and running. But I need the splitters to be able to do it. So we're almost there. Okay. So where's my mine? My... I want... there and there and run that out okay and then we need to power all this so I'm going to run powered from here and what I normally do is, since I'm going to space these one apart, I actually power them by placing the, the power uh, power poles on the outside behind them. There we go. So there's the iron up and running. Um, so what will happen is, if I grab this, what my... What my it'll look like in the end is... There will be a miner here like this, right here, and it'll it'll run, and then there's the mine on the other side, which has the transport belt in between it. Where did I put this again? Right there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So let's get the science packs in place. And 
And I can start tearing this down. I don't have... Where's my pick? There we go. Okay. So, what I'm going to want is... Let's see. Let's actually run this through the middle. I don't want to hook this up because this is actually going to be the output. And I'm going to have two... Okay, now a whole bunch of inserters, like so. Okay, and then where are my power cables? And then the power cables go in the middle here. And they will actually hit everything when I'm not standing on top of where I'm trying to place it. There we go. Of course, I need to get power out there. So, like I said, run along next to the belts. Perfect. Okay. We need more power cables. Okay. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to have the belts along the top and the bottom. Once I get more belts. And with a, a splitter and the underground cables, what I'll do is I'm going to run coal from up here through a splitter along transport belts down to here. It will then hook into this and there's a way that you can load up uh, items on one side of a belt and the other side of the belt. So one half of the belt is going to be iron, the other half is going to be coal. They're going to split onto the two lines onto the outside where these inserters are going to grab the coal and the iron, feed them into these furnaces, which will then have these inserters empty them out onto this line, and I get steel, or not steel, turning into quill there, uh, iron plate out the other side. And all of that will be done once the logistics is done. So let's tear this down. Yep, and here's a perfect example of once it's backlogged, it won't run anymore. In fact, I'm going to want a whole bunch more. So let's get another couple of these going. And put my burner inserters in here in case I ever need them again. There we go. So... Hmm. There we go. Okay. And let's get these up and running. I'm going to I'm going to I know I could space them two apart, but I'm just going to space them one apart that way I can at least just run through these. And let's get the power up and running. Can move this one up one and catch that. There we go. Almost done with that research. Let's get a few more transport belts going. In the meantime, let's... There we go. At least get some iron back out. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. So. We need... Oh, I, I still have more. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want brick. This is not good. Get the brick out. I want iron in there. There we go. Let's clean up the line. Yeah, if you smelt stone, you get brick. Okay. So, I need... Underground belt and splitter. And... Another splitter. Okay. Actually, I need three. There we go. So this splitter goes here. And you'll... Uh, no, 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 no. No, wait, no, that's fine. What was I thinking? Okay. No, that's not fine. I forgot I need the splitter on the other side first. I am messing this up, aren't I? Okay. Splitter on the other side first. Rotate, please. Thank you. Okay, there's the splitter. Okay. So, first off, splitters go on three, and underground belt goes on four. There we go. Okay, so what we do is we have underground belt going from here to there, and this belt goes like this, around like that, and we can have normal belt like this, and like that. Now see how it loads on just the one side? So up here, I put in my other splitter right here. Or I would if I didn't muck that up. There we go. Okay, so we run this down. Of course, I'm one shy. Okay. And in the meantime, let's dump off all, all of this that I can. Because I don't need the coal anymore. Because we're doing everything with power. Okay. So now, the coal is going to split evenly between the two sides. These inserters are going to pick up the coal and power this. And I get lots of iron out the other side. Glorious, glorious iron. So there's our first smelting area, and it helps if I actually get the transport belt all the way down. Okay. Well, next, I'm going to put a cut in here, but next episode what I'm going to do is basically do the same setup for the copper, which I'm not sure if I'm going to run it from the north or from the south, and then we'll actually set up the proper bus uh and i will explain that next time i hope you enjoyed today's video and have fun